how to change folder appearance for Windows 10. This video shows how to change the appearance of the folder display in Windows 10. The settings for Windows 7 and Windows 10 are similar, but the method for changing those settings is different. You are watching a Tom's Tech Notes video. If you like this video, please wait until you are finished watching it, then click my name, Thomas Wallace, to visit my channel page. A welcome video will play to describe my other videos. The symbol at top left shows options for resizing, hiding, or closing the window. These options are also available by using the boxes in the upper right corner of the window as they were in Windows 7. Settings for the folder window are described from top to bottom and in order from left to right. I'll only describe the options that most people would use. Consult the online help or Google for more information. The top line of the folder window is the quick access toolbar. To customize this toolbar, click the arrowhead. You can select what is shown on this toolbar by checking the items. And you can make it remove it from the toolbar by clicking them again to uncheck them. Each time you check or uncheck one of the items, the drop down menu goes away. All the options on this toolbar are also available by right clicking the window or individual items in the listing. The file menu options overlap the top left part of the window. The open new window option will let you either open the existing folder again so that it's open twice or it will let you select an item in the open folder and open that item in a new window. You'd want to do that when reorganizing items within folders. You can have both the source and destination folders open on the desktop while moving items back and forth. Some of the other options open command prompt Without interrupting what you're doing with this folder, you want to open a command prompt and execute some of the commands that you can execute within the command prompt. That's how you do it. Close this window by entering a exit. Options gives you folder options. There's a similar feature in Windows 7. This lets you have a lot of control over uh, the display. It's presently set so that each time I open a folder in this folder, it'll open it in the same window. But you can also select an option that if I open a folder here, it'll open it in another window, similar to what you can do with some of the uh, direct commands from the file menu. Click items. You can have it open items here if you single click them. I have it set to double click, which is the default, which is what Windows 7 people are used to. I'd encourage you to experiment with some of these options. You may want to change them if it makes it easier for you to use Windows with the options set differently. The others we, we don't need to go into. If you want more information on any of these, you can select the Help uh, feature on the File menu. The View option, for instance, lets you change several things. For instance, this option will hide the extensions for the known file types. Notice here, here's an extension, extension. Notice that if I click hide extensions and apply it, the extensions are no longer shown. I like to have it show extensions, so I'm going to change it back, change it, and then click apply. There are other ways to do that in Windows. It is currently set to not show protected operating system files. If you wanted to see those for some reason, you'd uncheck this box. But those are system files which the ordinary user would have no use to be able to see them. Some of these other options are a little more, more uh, involved than we want to get into in this video. These are some options for the uh, search. I prefer to do my searching from the browser's address box for the internet searches and I prefer to search the computer from the search box that appears when you click the magnifying glass at the bottom left. By the way there is an option where the search box will always be present here and you don't have to click it to make it appear. Let's discuss the video series for changing Windows 7 to Windows 10. That's pretty much uh, all the things I, I want to uh, talk about in the file menu and again there is a help option here so you can ask for help on various features. If you click this one it will close the current folder that is open. 
Now, Windows 10 uses a ribbon to show uh, the features of the different commands in the menu. There are two ways that ribbon can operate. If you click the arrow here, the selection Minimize the Ribbon will cause the ribbon to go away and will only appear when you click one of the menu items in the, in the top menu bar. But when, you, when it does appear, it will overlap what's on the display. So if I click this, it overlapped the, t the first few lines of the display, likewise this one and this one. That's with the ribbon minimized. If you don't minimize the ribbon, it reserves room for the ribbon to appear and does not overlap the contents of the folder as you select different commands. It uses that same space. Going back to the home command or menu, many of the editing commands here can also be executed by right-clicking items in the list. For instance, if you select an item and you, and you click copy, it'll, it'll copy the item to the clipboard, but you can just right-click an item and select copy also, or you can select an item and press Control c So there, there are lots of ways to do all these different commands that are on the home menu here. So these pretty much all, all here. Uh, the ones you're likely to use, I'm, I'm just going to discuss those. I'm not going to discuss everything. Rename, uh, you can also rename an item by right-clicking it, selecting rename. So again, I like, I'm used to the old right-click commands. I, I use almost nothing on this menu here, on this ribbon entry here for the home uh, button. Delete will delete whatever item is selected, but you can also just press the delete key, or you can right-click it and select delete. There are lots of ways. You could create a new folder up here, or you can create one by right-clicking in the middle of a, an empty area in the, in the folder. So you can select new, and then you can select folder. If you frequently create new folders within folders, it's probably a little faster to just click here to do that. You can see the properties of selected items here or of the whole folder if you haven't selected any items. If you want to open an item that is selected, you can click open here or you can just double click it or you can right click it and select open. You would right click an item if you wanted to specify which program to open that item with if there were choices. For instance, an RTF file, a text file, right click it has an open with option because you can open an RTF file with WordPad or with Word. So you would right click the item if you want to open it with a special program. If you double click the item it'll open with a default program for that type of item. That's pretty much it on the open. Uh, not going to discuss most of the others because I don't really use them from this menu. Uh, here's the old select all option. Click that one, it'll select uh, all items in the view. Now it selects everything in the, on the uh, display. Select none, make sure nothing on the display is selected. For instance, if you use shift click to the select several things, then you can say select none and it gets rid of all the selections on the page. Invert selection Select an item, one item, and invert the selection. That means everything that wasn't selected is now selected, and the items that were selected are now unselected. So again, invert selection goes back and forth. Selects everything but the one that's currently selected. And again, select none. We'll make sure nothing's selected. So that's pretty much it on the home menu. Share menu, I don't really use. If, if you find uses for it, by all means, like burning to disk and things like that, uh, by all means, uh, read up on it with the help, help file. View is a fairly important uh, command, and the ribbon entries for that give you a lot of control over what's being shown on the display. The left end of the view ribbon provides additional display panes that Windows 7 provided in the Organize menu. To show the navigation pane, click 
the icon, then click Navigation Pane. The Navigation Pane lets you navigate through your computer and open and close files all over your computer without having to open and close this folder display window. The Preview Pane will show a preview of selected items that have previews. For instance, here's a text file. If you select it, it'll show part of the text over in the preview pane. Here's an mp4 file. It'll show a picture from that file. Click it to show it and click it to make it go away. The details pane will show details about the selected file. If it's a folder, it'll show uh, the folder and, and the date it was modified. If it's a, another type of file, such as a text file, it'll sh again, it'll show uh, information about the file, not the contents, but just information about the file, the size, the date modified, created, and things like that. And then if it's a picture, the details uh, pane will show the picture itself, and it'll show all kinds of data about it. The newer cameras all embed all this information with the photograph so that uh, the standard programs can find that information and display it. The what's being shown now are the small icons. These are the small icon display. If I want to go to extra large icons, it actually previews them as you hover and selects it when you click. So you can preview it and if you don't select it, it'll go back to what is selected when you get off the uh, hovering over the, the new one. The list selection counts the number of items in the display, figures out how many can show on one column given the current setting of the window height, then it uses as many columns as necessary to show all the items. That may involve scrolling if they won't all fit on the current window. Details is a powerful display option because it lets you select which types of items you want to show and once you've selected them and are showing them, you can sort any of the columns by simply clicking them. So click the name column, it sorts it alphabetically and then reverses it. Likewise, all the other columns. Date modified, I now have the most recent at the top. Click it again, I now have the oldest one at the top. The types, again, it'll sort by the type name. Size, it'll sort by, sort by sizes. If you want to add more items to the display, click Add Columns. And now you can select from the list of all available data type items for the, for the uh, entries. So in other words, if I want to add date created, I click it. Now it adds that column. It's a very easy way to add more data. And there are many more columns available than these. If you click the, that, that one. And many of these do not apply to this type of folders, uh, to the types of items currently being displayed. For instance, 35 millimeter focal length would only apply if you were uh, displaying some pictures from a camera that had the data from the camera embedded in the pictures. Then you can show the uh, focal length. If you select length, it will show you the playing time of any audio or video files that are in this folder. There are a lot of other options on searching and sorting and things, but we're, we're not going to go into them here. Notice this one is cut off here because the data is, is too wide to fit in the column. There are two ways to change the width of the column so that no data gets cut off. One is to click the item that says size all columns to fit. That will enlarge all the column width so that no data gets cut off in the columns. Another way to enlarge a particular column, single column at a time, first of all get rid of this ribbon by clicking down in the display. The line at the end of a column can be dragged to change the width of the column. So if you're trying to get all your data to appear on the screen, you can adjust the width of the different columns that way. Before we leave the topic of adjusting the column widths, I need to warn you. After you click Size All Columns to Fit, Windows does not presently provide a command to restore the previous column widths. Your options are either create a new folder, 
copy the contents of this folder to the new folder, delete this folder, and rename the new folder. Or you can drag each individual column to adjust its width. The ribbon goes away if you have selected minimize the ribbon. It does not go away if you have not selected minimize the ribbon. So now that ribbon will stay up there all the time. You probably want to do that until you get real familiar with changing the uh, settings on your uh, folder displays. You probably want to leave that, one, that ribbon not minimized so it'll always be up there and you can find it. Back to the file menu. If you click change folder and search options, you can cause all the changes you've made to this display for this folder to apply to other folders of the same type by clicking the view option here on the folder options and then clicking here that says apply to folders. Thanks for watching my video. If you like this video, please click my name, Thomas Wallace, to visit my channel page to watch my other videos.